last showed this in December when I cleared out the basement. My office setup is part of our finished basement and <laughs> I haven't been using it a terrible amount except for it to collect junk. It was like our junk drawer. I needed to be on the same level as my kids. I could not segregate myself down here in the basement to work because my husband was deployed, but now that he's home, I have reclaimed my workspace and I'm gonna take you on a tour of that today. My name is Erica Lucas, welcome to the channel. I share videos every week about living with less and making life simple. The setup that I'm gonna show you is just for a couple of weeks because we're preparing to move a couple of states south. And we're gonna set up a new office there. There are two closets that are huge in the new house in Maryland. So we're gonna confiscate both of those as offices, one for my husband and one for me. So kind of turn them into offices closet offices. Any home office setup needs a couple of things, right? You need seating, flat surface, lighting, uh, equipment, supplies, storage, storage. Um, so for me, I've got my shelves, I've got my cabinet, I have the surface on top, my drawers, and then I have a file box for our long-term hard to replace paper storage. Your equipment might be a wireless printer, a regular printer, it might be YouTube equipment, uh, whatever it is you need for your work would qualify as equipment. Supplies are typically basic supplies, tape, scissors, staplers, that kind of thing. My office is never really my office without some motivation <laughs> on the wall just talking to me to tell me to keep on going. Keep trying, keep moving, keep inspiring, keep hoping, keep believing, keep dreaming, keep hoping, keep loving. You got this. My minimalist computer. Look at this thing. It is so light. Choo -choo. Love it. It's got this really amazing case. Look, my laptop fits in this thing. Okay. I mean, come on. In my top drawer here, I have tape, staplers, supplies for those two things, my post-it notes, my tabs, my P-Touch label maker, and some pens, just some general, like, pens that I love. And then in my second drawer, I have all of my juicy planner supplies. I'm kind of obsessed with my Rico Bello travel planner, you guys, this thing. I, this is like Lucas Central in here for us. Everything I need to keep track of, I keep track in this little journal. So I've got our calendar, I've got our to-dos. Um, if the case has just survived my life, which is huge. I don't even have vacuums that last as long as the journal. This is a vegan leather journal. I love this thing. It goes with me everywhere. Anytime I have an idea or I'm working on something, I can jot it in here. Recently on my Instagram, someone asked how I use my Rico Bello planner to manage our inbound paper. So I'm going to show you that this, like I said, is the Lucas Central, everything I need to keep track of, I keep in here. And once I process the paper, then it goes into our long-term hard to replace file bin or the shred pile or the recycle pile or into the document storage bag. So everything gets centralized in here until I have an opportunity to deal with it. Sometimes this can get real thick. <laughs> I mean, you can see this rubber band stretches, and if I haven't dealt with mail for a little while, this can get real thick. <laughs> I just tuck mail that needs to be dealt with. I just keep it in here until I've had an opportunity to do it. I have a monthly traveler-sized calendar for our stuff. Of course, none of this happened, right, because <laughs> of the virus, because of the pandemic, but that's okay. And everything is kept in here. Let me take these letters out. Everything is kept in here with a series of rubber bands. And you just have a way of positioning them in here to have multiple books. So I have, I have a calendar. I have our family to-do list. I have my notes for my business and then business to-dos. And I actually use these journals in multiple ways. So I, I do my note ticking, things I need to process. You can fit a large number of books. I have all of these extra books here as well. These bands, extra bands. So I can add as many books as I need and, t and change them in and out. So I've got my monthly calendar where I keep track of everybody's everything. And then I have, I have these pages for then I have these pages for notes. 
that I use just brainstorming things that I'm thinking about. And then this has all of my notes for my channel and for my website that I that I do. Um, I'm just going to show you the paper and I use this as like a to do checklist. That's how I use this. So another way that I use my journal is that I write goals for each day, little mini goals. Um, so I write something for the family that I want to get done, something for myself, and something for my business. So I write three little goals that I'm thinking about that I hope I get to do as well. Jerry and Paul make up the Rico Bello team. Jerry is a cancer survivor and Paul is her husband. And Jerry does the designs and Paul is in charge of the inventory. They have four children and eight grandchildren. They live in Southern California. I encourage you to check out their shop. I have a file bin where we keep our long-term, hard to replace papers. And then I have a fireproof, waterproof document bag for those just in case terrible scenarios where you need to protect certain papers. And I have our identity papers, our insurance papers, birth certificates, marriage certificates, all that good stuff that would be very hard to replace, I've got in here. It would be great if we had time to grab this bag in a case of emergency, but if we don't, it's supposed to be protected against fire and water. That's how I manage paper now. And this has been working since I really like went at my paper <laughs> and decluttered it. I have sh I've shared two videos in the past about paper declutter. Can I just start a folder that's weird paperwork that I don't think I should throw away, but I don't know what to do with? And one was just the massive overhaul of what I did and processed all our papers. And then the second one was a revisit of how I was planning to upkeep our paper. The, the way I had planned to do it didn't work. So I changed it and I shared that with you. And that has been working ever since. And I don't know, I guess that was six, seven months ago. And it's been working really, really good. <laughs> like perfect for me because all my inbound papers get processed when they come in the door or they go into my Rico Bello journal or um and then they get processed into the filing bins or processed into the recycling bin if it needs to be this bottom drawer is broken and doesn't have anything in it because it's broken it is too hard to open so I don't even use it <laughs> on my shelves I have paper supplies for the printer and I have all my to be read books. I just grabbed these books this week. These are all things that I'm very interested in reading right now. And then up here are my other books that I've already read that I'm hanging on to, mostly for uh, homeschooling and parenting books. And then inside my cabinet, I have all of my YouTube equipment that I need. Well, some of my YouTube equipment that I need, our family camera. And then we have a Canon uh, 920 wireless printer here, which is great because no matter where I travel with my laptop, I can send something to print down here if I need to. So what do I do in my minimalist workspace? I work on my channel from my computer and also from my phone. Our budgeting, I do, I do our budgeting online. Uh, we ePay nearly everything and I do my budgeting electronically as well. I don't have a budget binder, a budget folder or anything like that. I do all of that online and uh, I can take that with me. It's got this really amazing case. Look, my laptop fits in this thing, okay? I mean, come on. And when I work outside of my workspace, I take this Lily Queen tote bag. I'll leave a link in the description. I pop in my laptop and my Rico Bello planner, and that is what I take to work. This has been my work bag for a while now. It's very, um, sturdy. It's held up a lot. <laughs> you can see my kids have drawn on it. Um, so I've got my planner, my laptop, and my cord. In here, I got pens on the side pocket and then an eyeglass cleaner. I love that it has these canvas double stitched handles and then it has an adjustable handle as well. So you can use it and wear it two ways. So it's got side pockets. It actually has a pocket in here. I don't think I have anything in here. Oh, yes, I do. I have my eyeglass kit to repair my glasses if I need to. And I have this bracelet my mom got me as a good luck charm. I put a little good luck charm in all of my bags. 
this one has my bracelet from my mom. Thank you for watching. Here is the paper to clutter video that I mentioned, as well as the most recent video.